I'm Billy, uh, Billy Petropolis of Billy's Table. I've always wanted to open up my own restaurant. Um, I found when I was younger, I wanted to always do something. I just didn't know when or how. And over time, as I got to travel and I got to learn a lot about myself, a lot about um, cooking, food, I eventually just did what I was born to do. I, they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, my mum was a constant baker. She, she cooked at home all the time. She, she was constantly making biscuits, cookies, pies. My dad, um, a, a lover of, the, of his garden, uh, he loved uh, making wine, honey uh, with, uh, with his own bees, uh, picking grapes, the whole works. So I was always involved as a kid growing up uh, little did I know, my mum was always uh, making me top and tail beans and peeled potatoes while I was watching TV. Uh, and it was just subconsciously sort of going into me and, and I was realising that that uh, eventually that it was, it was coming. Uh, cooking was, was, was part of my life, part of my culture. Where do you start? I mean, from 20 years as an apprentice in the Radisson Hotel, um, I've worked for... Uh, I've gone through different avenues. Uh, I've travelled the world twice, uh, working holidays, living abroad. Um, I've opened up over 60 restaurants, um, 10 of which I own. Uh, I've lived in, in, in London, Japan, Korea, Hawaii, um, about nine different countries. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've worked in, from cafes to restaurants to pubs to Michelin restaurants. So I've had a bit of taste of, of a bit of everything. And, and I found that uh, over time that, that I knew what I wanted to do. And, and setting back in Adelaide was my next venture. Uh, look, that, that, that list is endless. I think when you're living in London, especially, uh, you, you, everyone's just so familiar. It just becomes so normal. You know, you're doing, you're doing breakfast for David Beckham. You're having just fresh fruit salads. His wife Victoria just live, they just live down the road from me. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, actors from, from American Hollywood blockbuster movies. My favourite, Eric Banner, uh, Naomi Watts. Even royalty, uh, Prince Harry as well at one stage. I'll dig back as far as, as London. Um, London to me, as soon as I left overseas um, the second time, um, I found myself uh, drawn away to London. And I found that uh, I had a, a great position there. I, I, uh, over time, I eventually came to a, a role with uh, being the executive chef uh, for Bill Granger. Uh, Bill Granger's a celebrity chef, has about 15 restaurants around the world. Um, globally, he, he, he's a celebrity of his own kinds, uh, cookbooks and all. And I found working for him that that's where I truly discovered myself. Um, I found that a, a part of me was coming out and I was learning a, a lot of stuff there that, to the point where um, it, it, it was exactly I knew what I wanted to do from there. I think my time was coming to, to a part where I wanted to move back and have to set up to have a family. Um, living abroad, having a family can be quite difficult. Especially when your mum, your dad, and your whole family are here, and your friends, your loved ones. Um, so I came back. I set up a business. I set up a consulting company, and that was the start of what was to be now. Um, I found that um, uh, it was the best thing for my little one. Uh, uh, she's four now, and growing up in Adelaide environment, how I grew up um, was was where it's at. And I mean, how 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 could you not? I mean, everything's just at a footstep away. Um, very lucky for what we have in Adelaide, South Australia. Over time, I, I've done little uh, destination, little little holidays, little little um, uh, getaways. And over time, you, you find uh, we're very blessed. We have you know wineries. Uh, I mean, everyone in South Australia understands that, but people outside of South Australia don't realise how lucky we actually are. Uh, and having everything uh, at our footsteps is really great. Thank you. Um, uh, I was constantly going to wineries, uh, constantly going to, to butchers, to, to, to meat uh, uh, farms, to seeing the, from, from grass-fed cows, to, to anything that excites me that's related to food. So 
everything around has a story that is eventually developed into me and to then become creative to, to what I've been doing now. Billy's Table to me uh, has just been a lifelong dream. So, so I actually, uh, about 10 or so years ago, I actually used to work at the next door industry cafe. And I started there and uh, I was to uh, take over that restaurant after being there for about two and a half years. Um, and the things just went differently and that's when I, I moved overseas. And so the, I fell in love with the street. I always had fell in love with the street. So Queen Street is like no other place. I mean, I, I've traveled, I've seen a lot of places, um, but what makes this part here is, is the community, it's the locals. They really, really make this street so unique. There are a lot of little places down the street, there's little cafes, uh, multiple cafes actually. Uh, there's clothing stores, vintage stores, uh, creperias. Um, so the street I always fell in love with, and that's where Billy's Table came in. Uh, when an opportunity uh, arose, I felt like I was always looking for the right location for Billy's Table, and I was just waiting for the right time, and everything happens for a reason, and, and this place popped up. Um, so for me, Billy's Table, uh, it's a wood-fired restaurant. Uh, everything is cooked from my experiences uh, throughout my travels over years. Um, so it's a well-traveled uh, menu. It's a global menu. It's, um, uh, it's not perceived as, as Asian or Italian or wood-fired cooking. It's just a style. It's a wood-fired cook. Everything is cooked in a wood oven. We're cooking pastas, sweets, desserts, uh, 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 everything from whole chickens to beefs to, to, to anything that I could possibly burn it in the oven. Uh, vegetables is my favorite. Uh, really getting that mallard effect, that the black charred feeling. Uh, uh, getting the uniqueness, getting the, the actual uh, wholesome of this vegetable. There's nothing like it. So uh, for wood fire cooking, uh, that's where Billy's Table is at. Lately, my latest project uh, has been Billy's Lane, which is in the Maya Centre. Um, it's a new concept for Adelaide. It consists of uh, four eateries. So basically I have a, a space and I've divided it into four places. And I created different uh, cuisines uh, in a one-stop shop. So I've got Jelena, uh, Lupa, which is uh, a, a roll around cereals. Uh, so it's cereal themed. It's, uh, it's got, uh, we do rolled ice cream and everything is created with, with, uh, with uh, cereals. Um, international cereals and Australian cereals. And it's all uh, infused in that. We've got uh, cereal lattes, oh, thank you, uh, cereal, uh, yeah, coffees, milkshakes, um, the whole works. And the next door, I've got something called Little Pot. Um, living in China, um, where I'd spent the last couple of years, uh, I found that uh, the traditional cuisine uh, being hot pot, so developed that style. And hot pot uh, for me here is it's a, it's a way and pay feeling. It's you, you have a look. What you like, it's all displayed. You pick what you want, you weigh it, and and, and, and you go on. Um, next door to that is Bone Shaker, the classic Bone Shaker, um, which has established in quite some time over since 2017. Um, again, there was uh, three in China. Um, uh, it's a premium burger place, which uh, uh, caters uh, now. Now it's expanding as as the times expanding and gone from vegetarian burgers to vegan burgers. And, but of course, the, the staple is it's Bone Burger. It's classic. And then next door is Baal, which is a new concept, but not a new product. Uh, Baal is it, traditionally, it's a white fluffy bun that uh, is, is filled with uh, any choice like fish, beef, pork, and, uh, and, and all, all everything we make there. All the sauces are made in house, we make fresh dumplings. So Billy's Lane has been my latest project um, amongst uh, yeah, writing a cookbook. Father first, chef second. Father to a four-year-old Ayla, who's my pride and joy. Um, but business is obviously in my blood where I strive to do what I do. Um, have running 10 restaurants it, it, it is quite challenging. So when I do step out of that zone, uh, it's my little one. Uh, we go to Central Markets uh, every Tuesdays. Uh, we make smoothies every morning. That's our little thing. Uh, um, and then time away from that, uh, my passion for motorbikes. I love to ride, uh, go for long rides, to, to sort of de-stress from the day's uh, um, stresses. Um, and then writing a cookbook has been my latest project this year, which uh, is, takes up uh, a lot of my time. 
that, that I'm focused on publishing by uh, early next year.